Welcome to Ontitext Pharma Insights Demo. With this screencast we will demonstrate how Ontitext's Pharma Insights could be used to identify a specific subset of clinical trials for a group of drugs that target a particular class of proteins. As an example, we will try to locate all approved, inhalation drugs, that target beta-2 adrenergic receptor and have successfully passed through phase 4 clinical studies. To accomplish this, we will mainly use the so-called cross-search function, which relies on the linked data in our semantic repository and the multiple filtering options of the faceted search. Let's get started. As you can see, all major entities in Pharma Insights Knowledge Base are available for searching and browsing with Quick Search Interface, which is a simplified Google-like search. Once we start typing in the query box, the system auto-suggests a list of relevant concepts. On top, the system always lists the input value, so it could be used for free text search. Each concept, in the list below, is described by its semantic type and a list of synonyms. As you can see, we have selected beta-2 adrenergic receptor, which was the last item in the list. Pressing the search button triggers a search in the semantic repository, which will identify all related object to the selected concept. Pharma Insights platform identified correctly beta-2 adrenergic receptor as a target. The system also identified 47 drugs which target this receptor. They are identified as hits in the drugs tab, on top and are also listed for the target in column related drugs as a list. Let's expand and explore this list. They are all well-known drugs that affect the beta-2 adrenergic receptor. We can use all of these drugs to further explore our knowledge graph. We will start a cross-search using our target and will list all 47 drug records. Just click on cross-search button. Then choose to use entities from first page only, because we have just one target in the list. Press the blue button on top to search for drugs related to the listed targets. The page lists all 47 drug records related to our target. Each drug is described with brief summary of its function, therapeutic class or drug category and a list of potential drug targets. Our objectives are to use only approved drugs which are inhaled, so we will use the filters of the faceted search. Each time we select a filter value, the result list will be reloaded and the statistics will be updated. All used filter values are listed on top and could be removed if needed. We identified 9 approved, respiratory drugs. If required we can add additional properties to better describe the drugs in the list. Let's add mechanism of action, just to be sure that they target the receptor we are interested in. Once the category have been chosen, the system will extend the results list with the corresponding information. As we can see. All of the drugs target beta-2 adrenergic receptor. In addition, we will include also indication description, to be sure that they are used to treat respiratory-related conditions and diseases. It seems that the first drug is not in our focus. We might need to exclude it later on. All other drugs in the list are used for the treatment of COPD, asthma or other chronic respiratory disease. Again we will initiate a cross-search with all drugs in the list except the first one. 
Just click on cross search button. Then choose to use entities from first page only, because we have just 9 targets in the list. We are going to deselect the first drug item in the list because based on indication description, it seems to be not relevant for our research. Next we are going to search for related clinical trials clicking on the corresponding button on top. The search returned a list of 93 clinical studies, which analyzed the 8 drugs we have selected in the previous step. On top, the system shows the knowledge path we have followed so far. We started with search for targets. Then we identified the related drugs. Finally, we retrieved the list of relevant clinical studies. The sequence of steps is not limited and could vary based on the particular research task. In the result list are displayed all clinical studies and their main properties, like for example, study status. However, not all of them seems to be relevant for our research. For example the first one seems to be a suspended study, but we wanted to identify only completed studies. We will filter by study status and study phase, because we need only approved studies in phase 4. Using the filters we were able to limit the initial list to just 14 highly relevant clinical studies. We can continue with the cross search, or we can dig into more details exploring the drug or clinical study records, which we have identified by now. This could be easily done by just clicking on a link within the results. Now we have opened a drug dashboard, which organizes the data in the repository in a drug-centered manner. Pharma Insights drug dashboards organize all publicly available information for a given drug. We will demonstrate how drug dashboard could be used in our next video. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.